Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at Shuffle Cats from uh, King Games. Now before you start chucking full wine bottles at your computer screen, let me just say that the only reason we're looking at this is because it is a board game of a sort, a card game, uh, Rummy, uh, a version of Rummy. And it struck my interest to see uh, Rummy being used in this way, in a very free-to-play, very mainstream way. So let's take a look and see if there is any gem here. This game is about as direct gambling as I can think of in a free-to-play game, almost like video poker. I know that sounds weird, but basically you have a, a pool of gems. Uh, you use those gems to play games with different players. You can play at different levels, and that will match you with players that are playing on that same level. The antes are different for those different levels. Uh, the gameplay is with live players, and you're playing a version of Rummy where you're trying to be the first to score 10 points. Each card you play is worth 10 points, and there are certain modifiers which could increase the number of points uh, a certain hand is worth. So you'll be drawing cards, you'll be discarding one card, just like a typical Rummy, uh, and then be playing either sets of three or more or runs of three or more. The first player to reach 10 points is the winner. Uh, again, that's by playing 10 cards, and that can be on your own sets of runs or by playing on other players' sets and runs. Uh, based on how you did, you will receive gems from that match based on the ante as well as your results compared to the other player. The game features, again, like I said, several different places, ante levels you can play at. It tries to coax you into the higher ones, which, again, feels a little skeezy, a little too much gambling to me. Uh, there is a shop where you can buy uh, different power-ups, and these power-ups seem to be permanent. It doesn't seem like they're expendables. They're just, you have to decide kind of which bonus you want to use. So I spent a fair bit of time looking at free-to-play games uh, in my day job, and, uh, you know, this one is pretty interesting. If you are a board game fan, while there is some weird gambling ickiness to it, which, again, I'm not opposed to gambling, just it seems weird when you can pay actual real money to continue to put into this game, which has no actual output. But anyway, uh, aside from that, uh, the, there's a, kind of a curve building up to the point that I'm showing you, but once you get to this point, from what I can see, it seems pretty open. Uh, I don't know how long before I bounce out on this one and what the later stages look like, but from what I can see, it seems pretty flat. It's just a matter of what you're earning and what you're able to put up. So definitely check this one out, and I think you know it's not uh, going to be for everyone, but maybe if you're looking for kind of a quick board game hit, this could be for you.